What's up, everybody? It's Treep from Treep Talks here. What you're about to watch is the Jags All-25 Treep Edition, numbers 20 through 16. There are some new school Jags on there, and there are also some old school Jags on there. I won't quite spoil who those names are. You're just going to have to wait and see. But before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like down below if you think Josh Scobie is a top 25 Jaguar player of all time, and you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into the video. What is going on everybody? It is long haired Treeb from Treeb Talks. Treeb's getting his long hair back and he's looking more like a douchebag in every single episode. I'm surprised I haven't got any comments about that. But then again, probably nobody cares about my hair more than me. And I'm getting I need to get a haircut because I hate it. I hate it when my shit gets real long, especially if you look at, like, some of my older videos, like, in February. Like, I had long hair, like, down to here, and I was getting tired of it, and I said that I was never going to go back to that. But here we are still with the long hair. I'm also hyped Treeb today because it was happy hour at my local Java stop, dude. So, you know, I got a Red Bull Blast 24 ounce for two ninety five. Yeah, Java stop. Sponsor me. Find some sponsors. Sponsor me down below. Anyway, what you guys are about to watch is the Jaguars All-25 Treeb Edition. Now, I said in the intro we have some new school Jags in this list, and they might be a little bit more new school than you think. And we have some old school Jags that were part of some of the beginning stages of the Jaguar franchise, but today we are just going to hop right into the video and tell you our numbers 20 through 16 of the greatest Jaguars of all time. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jags All-25 20 through 16, Treeb Edition. Number 20, James Stewart. Now this was a guy that didn't make the Jaguars official All-25 list I was pretty surprised about. I thought he was a solid running back for the Jaguars from the numbers that I have seen. And the funny thing is, is the Jags always seem to have iconic running backs. You know, to see if Leonard Fournette is going to be one of those iconic running backs is yet to be seen. But if he does, that means we had Leonard, Maurice Jones, Drew, Fred Taylor, James Stewart. And, you know, the list goes on. The Jags always have had an effective running game. And James Stewart was kind of the guy before the Jags finally went all the way in with Fred Taylor. But he was a fantastic running back. He made the Pro Bowl in two seasons. And in my opinion, definitely deserves a spot on this list. It's another guy that I have not really watched. And I'm basing it basically off a of highlight tape and uh, stats. So, again, you can comment down below about how I'm a stupid 20-year-old uh, Jags fan. You know, go right ahead and do that. But that is where I have Mr. James Stewart at number 20 of the best Jaguar running backs. Or the best Jaguar players of all time. Number 19, Paul Puzlesny. Now, I know this one's basically going to be the hottest take because no one liked it when the Jags put Paul in their top 25 players, but I think he deserves a spot because during a dark age of Jaguar football, he emerged as a leader and he would play hard on every single down. He was a hard worker, the hardest worker on that field every time. Did he make some mistakes? Sure. Did he make plays though? Hell yeah, he made plays. He was a 100 tackle guy for three seasons. He was the starting middle linebacker in Jacksonville for seven seasons, which is a lot longer than uh, what you would think he was there for, you know. It felt like Paul Puzlesny's tenure in Jacksonville kind of just flew on by, but he was there for six, seven years and played at a high level for us for six, seven years. You know, it was never in question who our middle linebacker was or who our defensive captain was. And, you know, he's very responsible for like the progression of guys like Telvin Smith, guys like Miles Jack, you know, guys that in theory should be able to help our team for a long, long time. So his impact is still being felt on the field today for the Jaguars, and I think that in itself earns him a spot on the Jags All-25 list. Number 18, Kevin Hardy. Kevin Hardy played for the Jaguars from 1996 until 2001, and in 1999, the 14-2 year for the Jaguars, a season where the fans thought they were going to win the Super Bowl, he earned a Pro Bowl honor as well as a first-team All-Pro vote. He led the Jags in sacks that year with 10.5. He also had over 100 tackles, and he was very consistent every year. He was with Jacksonville starting in three of those six years and being at a dominant level. When he left Jacksonville, though, he was never really the same. He wasn't the same caliber of player anywhere else, but he was definitely a part of a great Jaguar defense and a great Jaguar team from that stretch between 96 and 2001. Around 02 is really when the Jags started to kind of 
fall off, you know, kind of during the Jack Del Rio era. But, you know, he was part of a very legendary Jaguar time frame. A, le a time frame that I think could be emulated by the Jaguars of today if they continue to win. And 2018 was just kind of a fluke. They make the playoffs and, you know, they consistently do well. And, you know, guys like Yannick Ngakwe, Jalen Ramsey, those are going to be guys that if we do this list you know, however many years in advance, maybe on the list or maybe in some cases higher on the list as well. Kevin Hardy's one of those guys that I think is a great Jaguar player, but there were so many good Jaguar players in the 90s that it was hard to put him any higher than where he was on this list. But he was a great player for the Jacksonville Jaguars nonetheless and has earned a spot rightfully on this list. Number 17, Yannick Ngakwe. Now, if a contract gets done with Yannick Ngakwe... This list will make so much more sense, especially if it's long term, because if it's long term, Yannick Ngakwe is definitely, in your eyes, if you don't think he already is, is going to earn you a spot on this list regardless. I think Yannick Ngakwe is one of the most explosive players on a Jaguar defense that is already filled with all pros, pro bowlers, and everything like that. Yannick Ngakwe was a third round pick wasn't really expected to make the impact he made. You know, it, he kind of benefited from the Dante Fowler injury, came in, had eight sacks, eight and a half sacks, which was a rookie record, came back the next year, had 13 sacks, and then the next year had nine and a half. And he also has a knack for getting the ball out. He causes so many turnovers. You know, the year he got eight sacks, I believe he had four turnovers. And then the year after, in 2017, he had like six forced fumbles. And, you know, uh, scoop and score. So this guy is a playmaker on the defensive side of the ball. And it's so silly that the Jaguars have still yet to extend him because this is a guy you want on your franchise for a long, long time, if not for his whole entire career. Yannick Ngakwe is going to go down as one of the best Jaguars of all time. And in my opinion, I think he already is the 17th best Jacksonville Jaguar player of all time. Number 16, Jalen Ramsey. Another situation like Yannick Ngakwe, Jalen Ramsey, a guy that if we get his contract done is going to definitely go down as one of the best Jaguar corners of all time and might go down as one of the best overall corners of all time. You look at different eras in the league and you look at how many dominant corners there were. You know, you had basically the Josh Normans, Richard Shermans, Darrell Rivas of the early 2010s on. You know, Jalen Ramsey has a real opportunity to be a guy that kind of takes over the latter part of 2010s and then really become a star in the 2020 decade and be a dominant cornerback in this league and be one of the best to ever play at that position. Now, is he going to be doing it all as a Jaguar player? We don't know that just yet. The Jags did pick up their his fifth-year option. And, you know, he definitely wants a lot of money. And I think if you're the Jags, you obviously need to get that done. And you need to make sure you give him exactly what he freaking wants. And, like, just give him any amount of zeros that you want that he wants on that check. And you give it to him. Because King Ramsey, you know, by the time he calls it a career, and if he finishes it out in Jacksonville, might just be the best Jacksonville Jaguar player of all time. And I know that I might get some hate for having these two new guys on the list. But that's just how I see it. That's how I think it'll go, especially if they get those extensions and finish their years out with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that was the Jaguars All-25 Treeb Edition. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.